right, it's way up. I'm Angela Yee, and Mano's in the building. New Mano! Yeah. Ooh, and let's get right into it. Megan Good was on Club Shay Shay. Why are you looking at me like that? Why? why? <laughs> oh, man, you got to stop. Did you watch? Nah, I didn't. Are you going to? I mean, I guess I'll catch a, cu- a clip or two. All right, well, here's what you had to say about getting paid what she's worth for the first time. Tyler Perry is the first person who paid me what I should get paid. You know, he said, how much do you want? I said, let me let me talk to my team. And he's like, just tell me how much you want. I was like, uh, Tyler, I said, let me just, because I wasn't quite sure what to ask for. And then, um, you know, I was talking to Jonathan, and he was like, you should ask for this. And I was like, no, I can't ask for that. And I was like, I don't like, you know, it's like, it's almost a mentality. I don't want to lose the job. Right. And so I asked Tyler, and he said, I was going to give you that anyways. Hmm. All right. Well, there you go. Ask for what you are worth and what you expect to get. And, you know, you can always negotiate, but that's great that she was able to get that. Um, And here's what she had to say about her divorce. You know, um, and shout out to Megan Good. She honestly, like, is... What, Mayna? What? I'm not saying anything. I'm (laughs) chilling. Uh, Well, here's what she had to say about her divorce from Devon Franklin. I try to do everything to the best of my ability and and know I didn't do everything perfect, but I don't know that I could have done anything different if I'm being honest. Mm. And so I was just like, why is this happening? My greatest fear was for my husband to leave me after 10 years of marriage the way that my dad and my mom separated. And that's exactly what happened. Okay. See? So, I, don't, I don't, I don't, what, what, what's happening? Yeah, by the way, Divorce in the Black comes out on Friday, tomorrow, tonight, I guess, late night tonight. I watched it already, so I cannot wait to talk about it. Is it a good movie? Yes. It My homeboy is in there. Who? Corey Hardwick? Corey, that's right. Okay, well, good. He'll be up here too, but um, shout out to him. He played a different type of role. He was, uh, Somebody that you would not like in real life in that movie. All right. Now, talk about Dwayne Wade. He has a new business that he's planning on starting. He was on CBS Mornings. And here's what he had to say. I'm actually thinking about jumping into the nail line. Oh, really? Yeah. I've been thinking about it. Like, I've been in it so long, and I'm like, you know what? It could be a good time, but I got some cool ideas that I'm exploring. (laughs) What? Social media had a lot to say about this. But he did say that his relationship with his six-year-old daughter greatly impacted his love for nail care, and it was a way for him to deepen his bond with her while practicing and teaching her self-love. And so he likes to sit down with his daughter, get his nails painted, paint hers as well. That's the time that they have to connect. All right? Nice. That's beautiful. And shout out to uh, to Freeway. He posted on his social media, I'm not looking for sympathy by posting this. I just know there are others who feel the same way. I often pretend I'm okay, but I'm really not. A simple conversation about patio furniture brought back memories of my son sitting on the balcony and my daughter mm. Harmony buying the new furniture. It made me sad, but I also treasure the wonderful memories of them. I pray that Allah grants them the highest level of paradise mm. and reunites us there. And so he said, if you're experiencing similar feelings, don't be afraid to express them. It really helps me a lot. So he's grieving the loss of his dad and um, two children. He said, it's a journey of finding strength in their memories and hope in the promise of reunion. Man, that is so sad. We love you, Freeway. All right. Well, that is your UT. When we come back, we have Under the Radar. These are the stories that are not necessarily in the headlines. They are flying under the radar, but you definitely need to know about them. Uh, It's way up. Way up.